Well, boys and girls, we did the Chrysler 300. I kind of had really, really low expectations for this. I brought it to the Barry Fair. This thing is bone stock. Like, I don't know what your guys' definition of bone stock is. I have um, nothing done to it. It's still got the gas tank underneath it. It's just running a boat tank on the inside, though. Uh, factory wiring, no fuses pulled. I just moved it from the trunk to the inside. You guys seen the build. Um, no suspension modifications, no not. The only thing I didn't do that was factory was as I put different tires on the back and got rid of the rear calipers. I went from the 18s to the 15s. I think that it was a very smart choice. So I went out there and I was the only full size car to actually show up. So they said, do you have a problem running with the pro stock trucks? And I said, absolutely not. I have, sorry, absolutely no problem is what I said actually. So I went out there and I ran with the pro stock trucks. These guys are allowed to fold their beds down. They're allowed to run square tubing, super duties. And I had a blast. This 300 did really good, but everything I said was gonna break. Motor mounts are broken. Front A-arm, the spindle bent, and I actually had to cut the top control arm off to be able to get it to turn to get on the trailer. And I broke the U-joint or rag joint in the drive shaft. But, uh, the sheet metal just ripped away on this thing. This is what happens when you have aluminum body panels. Like it just rips away. Uh, it ripped right away from the frame, so maybe next time if I do run another one of these, some 9-wire down to the frame to try to get it to curl up. But realistically, nothing back here broke. None of the aluminum spindles, nothing broke back here except for the drive shaft. And it's not even the drive shaft, it's just the U-joint. Um, can you guys see that passenger door? I got smoked by another vehicle. The door is ripping away. Moose is over there choking. Don't don't worry about Moose. He's dude, he's too stupid to die. He'll be fine. But the thing that impressed me the most, this was the tire that was on the driver's side. I put the donut on the passenger side. I put this one on the driver's side and just said, "You know what? They're going to have a less likely chance of hitting that one than this one." I made some pretty aggressive shots with this frame rail. And the frame now never moved at all. And like this subframe is rotted. I, can't, I haven't even opened the hood yet. The ratchet strap holding the engine on did really good. I think that that saved me as long as I did. Um, I did have a GoPro in it. You guys can see the GoPro up there in the ceiling. I really hope it caught when the truck hit me and my whole windshield spider because I was just covered in gas. Sorry, not glass, not gas. But um, this is how stock this car is, guys. It's still got a windshield in it. It was telling me that my parking assist may not work while I was inside the ring. Guys, this thing was bone stock. I had zero expectations, and it did really good for what, for what it was. Like, this is a piece of junk car, guys. Don't... Like, this thing was so rotted. You've seen the subframe. You've seen the rear subframe. You've seen everything. Like, I don't hide nothing from you. But um, had fun. But this is not the car that actually hurt me. You guys want to see what hurt me? So this is our anywhere between 95 and 99-ish Honda Civic. And uh, I went out into the figure eight and I was going to run figure eight and I was going to give the car to a buddy and uh, it ran like shit. It ran on like two cylinders. Uh, so it died halfway through the figure eight. I got it refired and just redlined it until the race was over. I really didn't enjoy the figure eight. I'm not a figure eight guy. And then I took it into mini smash. Um, so first off, it'll run at either zero RPM, which is not running, or 4,000. So it's either red line or nothing. And I went out there and I did a really big shot with the back of my car. And, hold on, let me pull this out of there so you guys can see how bad this is. The entire floor, that's right, that's the ground ripped out of this car and then it went underneath the post to post bar the frame never buckled back there at all it buckled here the whole floor ripped away which is unique which dented the shit out of my gas tank which ripped the gas tank out of the floor the gas tank hit the dash so i started fixing that and then while i was fixing that I got this done to me. Look at this hit. He just missed this tire. I bet you like he just skimmed her because you can see how far his bumper went into my firewall. 
and he fed it to me. Look at this shot. What a great position shot. It hit me so hard that the rocker panel is actually folded up and around. That is impressive. But the downside was, is I was hunched over in the car working on my gas tank. So while I was doing that, I got smoked and I hit my head off this. So then I got the car running again and then all the radio fell out. The airbag fell out of it. Um, and then I made one good hit and I was like third car left and I did, I was like, how is this thing still running? Came up and I got just cranked in this corner and my face smashed off this pillar. And then it's died again. I was able to get it refired, but this axle was broken and then the car caught fire. But my God, guys, have you, this thing here, I, you haven't seen any videos of me building of it because I got this car on trade. I traded a four wheel drive Jeep Liberty for it. So I'll, there was only like a 10 minute video on how I'm building this car. And it was pretty much me just putting a gas tank and a battery into it and a new bumper. But look at, look at that rear tire. It is inside the car. And what a crazy shot. Like, guys, this car is pushed over so far that the entire tire sticks out the side of the car. Like, that is your A-pillar, and the whole tire is outside of it. This car still runs. Not fantastic, but it still runs. And this thing was bone stock. The batteries underneath there um, did kind of play the gray with a bumper, but that's the only gray on this car is that bumper. But no doubles, no nothing, no welding. The doors were all seat belted shut. And uh, the little Honda is still kicking. It's not kicking and screaming. After the figure eight, I actually got hit so hard that the uh, power steering reservoir lid fell off. So I just jammed a seal, <laughs> the weather sealing in the car. You can see the whole car is pushed over. The brake master is broken off of the actual booster because of how far that got pushed over. And this car still ran. This is unbelievable, guys. You know what, I am a firm believer that these older Civics are great cars. They're tough and they don't wanna die. If I wasn't doing such big shots, I think that this rusty, rusty car could have been a first place car. It almost got me first place. It did refire, but I didn't, wasn't able to move. So I got third in this, and I got third in the Pro Stock trucks in that. So I was actually pretty happy with how I did this weekend. Um, but the gentleman I got this car is off me. It, car off, the gentleman I got this car off of has asked me to cut out this post to post bar so he can have it back. So I'll probably do that, and I'll probably get this thing ready for scrap. And I know that thing's going to go to scrap. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, you haven't seen anything on this car yet, but it's only a one part build video, and it'll be coming up near. The end of that one, I think. I'm not sure. But it will be coming up. There's not much to it. And the 300 was just a very stock, quick build. But, you know what, guys? It got me in the ring. Just goes to prove that, you know what? I had a fantastic time. You don't need to win to have a great time. Go out there, buddies. Um, I actually took home a small trophy, a third place trophy. It was like maybe six inches tall. I ended up giving it to a young girl at the Derby. She must have been four or five years old. But you know it's something like that will get kids into the sport guys we need more drivers in this sport so go have fun who cares if you win who cares if you lose just go have a great time thanks for watching guys and uh yeah these cars are both going to scrap see you back here tomorrow on zach's workshop